So when my friend from Dubai saw this laser reduced from $89.99 to $69.99 on Amazon, he said, buy it. So we bought it. So we bought it. And we're going to play three holes here at Wharton Park. We're going to do a little bit of testing and talk about why he told us to buy this laser. Dan, you're not going to get on a much today, so you might as well take it. How far have you got? <laughs> 99 yards, I believe. We might as well start as we mean to go on. Okay. How much are we playing for? I'll play you for a fiver. A fiver. We've just won opening all, guys. You, you might not want to mention oh, that. Oh, that were a warm-up. There were no winning. Good strike. Had ever. It's a birdie putt. It's pin high. I'll tell you what, I'm going to use that club actually. I thought you might have to see him that. We should have said a tenner now. <laughs> Got no excuse. Fully warmed up from Pakistan. It could be a bit long. Spin. Ooh. Oh dear. Not a good start. It's 52. 50, I said 52. I thought you no. said 56. That were on first all. <laughs> well, I've not left myself much to play with here, have I? No. Oh. Hopefully we can get it to stick. Oh, no, it's stuck too soon. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's racy. Bloody hell, Dan. What you had for breakfast? Oh, dear. So, my mate Rob, by the way, he bought a war sport laser about seven years ago. We were on a budget. I'd never heard of him. And he's had this laser seven years. Right. And it's been absolutely bulletproof. And he's building a second set for UK. So, he's been saying to me, obviously, we've been doing these laser videos. What, can you get me a laser? You know, obviously, on a budget. And he's had a shop round, he's noticed that they've just released a new generation of the laser he's got, and there's an Amazon offer on at the minute where you pick, you can pick it up for 69 99 So I bought one for him, nice. and we're going to test it. And he's actually given me the original as well. I've got the original with me as well, the OG. So we're going to have a look at them both. Hit it. Get in! <laughs> He's back from Pakistan and putters still on fire. What about a friendly off? Ooh! <laughs> That's it, innit? Right, so this is the OG that Rob bought round about seven years ago and he paid about £119 for this. And he said it's been absolutely bulletproof. He even said he's only probably put two batteries in this during its lifetime. So it's a, they're external batteries, they're not built-in batteries. We've got the new version, so let's have a look. First impressions. Because we've done a lot of testing on sort of lasers under under a pound now, so we're quite good judges of these things. I mean, first things first. Nice case. Yeah, quite a solid Velcro case and a good clip as well it's actually quite a good clip we've seen some tacky ones haven't we plastic ones are just brilliant. we have put the battery in this so it's another external battery which we don't mind we're a bit sometimes skeptical of the the built-in batteries i think yep. i prefer that I don't know how long it's going to last you can always replace these but um looks solid enough it does actually it's actually quite nice feeling as well i think that's quite nice you know they're having the rubber here it makes a big difference and that texture just makes you feel like you've got a good grip when you yeah. hold it i think in terms of looks they've definitely refined it a lot more haven't they it's a slightly smaller profile yeah i mean you can tell that it's the same brand they're just yeah but it's a lot more sort yeah. of smaller and compact and do you know what i like about this for a budget laser it's actually a little bit weightier than the normal ones so you feel like you've got something substantial in your hand, right. which is one of the things we picked up on when you're testing these budget ones that can be sometimes quite feel lightweight, can't they? Yep. But you know, compared to my sort of Bushnell, which were a three, four, nine laser, it actually feels just as solid and quite substantial. Nice. So we're going to do a little bit of distance testing. I haven't actually got the Bushnell with me. I've got the Incursive, believe it or not. 
Um, so we're going to compare it against the Incursor, which was probably one of our better rated budget lasers, weren't it? Yeah, we enjoyed that one, didn't we? We did enjoy that one, uh, which were reduced to sort of like £45, I think you could get it for. So let's see. So that's measuring 180 yards. It don't look 180 yards, does it? But I mean, I don't know. Probably because you're a big hitter. Yeah, 180.4 yards. It's got the jolt, that as well. It's right. quite a nice jolt on it. I don't think this one has got jolt. I think that one of the main thing he, he mentioned about his original one, it didn't have the jolt. 188. Eight yards difference. Eight yards difference. But that, obviously, that's the old one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So the optics must have improved. That's yeah. pretty light for like on this one. I'll tell you what I like about this one, though, is it, it's jolts a lot more... It, it, you actually feel the jolt through your hand, whereas that's just a buzz on the incursor. What about graphics? Uh, definitely clearer on the lens. Right. That's definitely clearer. The graphics on this are like very bold yeah. text. This is quite slim and just like sharper. Um, but the lens, the clarity as you look through the lens for me, it just looks a sharper image. Yeah. I mean, we're no lens experts, are we? Um, but the image just looks clearer. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just going to check what that big tree is on the left. That's 318, so I think I'm going to aim at that tree and just fade it off the tree. Like that. Jeez. Well, you got like to Best strike, but she's up there. So, distance. Yeah, in the comments, guys, do you use slope when you're not in competitions, and then do you use it without slope in competitions? For me, I just use it without slope all the time, me. Don't you ever try and guess it, though, to see sort of what your well, no, brain no, thinks? Well, no, I could tr try and test, but... It's 106.8 without slope. Right. And it's a little incline, isn't it? So what would you say? Or you... Uh, oh, that's a good question, actually. I like that question. I would say, what did I say? 106.8? 106, 106, yeah. 109. Right. 107.1. Okay. Barely made a difference. No. But it's not much of an incline, is it? No, not really. To be Couple fair, I yards. wouldn't have changed anything. So yeah. I don't know why I said under a nine. So I'd go first. Yep. I are only saying that because you put me under pressure. <laughs> I've just seen how much of a good caddy you were. It's not bad. A little heavy, but you got away with it. It weren't heavy, you cheeky sod. That sounded heavy. <laughs> Did you strike that? That was pure. That sounded nice. Yeah. Gas. Honestly, it's getting a bit annoying. <laughs> what is wrong with me? That's insane. <laughs> Honest. You are a good putter as well, aren't you? Well, but you've got you've got your eye on a new putter. That's your problem. Yeah. Favourite par for three is here. Par three, it's 188. 188. Straight after it. It's the club. Oh, it just threw back. He's changing his club now. Great job.
That's not bad, that. Not too bad. And just to summarise, if you were to buy this laser, you've got the case with a good Velcro strap, a very solid clip inside. You've got something that you can clean the lens with if you get any fingerprints on it. You've also got this, I think you can connect that if you want something just to hold up, hold it with. Um, but yeah, I think main thing is the feel of it and the, like how robust it feels for the price. It definitely made me want to spend that little bit more than the Incursa because I, I just like the feel. You know that these are real rubber and you've got the rubber here as well and just looks really nice so well done great if i've never heard of war sports either before this so no. fantastic let me know if you've got one of these lasers yourself guys and get in the comments give us a, your review for the subscribers to have a read um and yeah i think i might put that on my bag actually before it comes back Guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the laser review on the War Sports Rangefinder reduced from $89.99 to $69.99 on Amazon for a limited time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We've got some more great videos coming to you this week. We'll see you in a couple of days' time. Bye.